Lots of nerves. Can these boats make it to the weekend of the regatta, which in itself is an achievement? This is basically Harvard v Brown that we're seeing, so there's a bit of a derby going Attention. on here as well. Go! Can get past Temple Island, who can seize that early initiative. Brown University, and they are on the Buck Station. A bit of Cox there, is that certainly giving it some welly? Yeah, they're looking as if they've gone off the tighter crew to me. I think that Brown crew have really taken it by the scruff of the neck. I think they're going to edge out of the island ahead just slightly. Let's see as the angle comes through. Pretty tough, tough, you know, side by side stuff coming out of here. Fast and furious. Oh, maybe just a just an inch or two. Shading it, aren't they, at this early stage? Benson Stevens, the Cox in the Brown University boat. His uh, head's bobbing up and down, which I'm not sure will thrill his uh, eight. I mean, normally reckon the cock should stay as motionless as possible. It's uh, now just looking at it. In fact, uh, Newell and Moseman have fought back, and now they've nudged into the lead. So this is a good early duel. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? They're vying to see who can kind of try and get an early advantage. I mean, that's what you want. They'll kind of be racing to that first marker to see, right, you know, uh, how can we build something, build a rhythm that will give us an edge, that will put the others under pressure. But, I mean, coming back again in the Brown crew, I think, so, you know, they're, they're edging it a sort of a canvas one way, then a canvas back again. So this is looking like it's going to be a tough one all the way down at the moment. It will be. I'm interested in the weight disparity between these two boats. 91 key average weight for Brown University on the Buck Station and 76 kilos for Newell and Moseman or Harvard as you uh, summed it up it's a uh, pretty big disparity that isn't it average weight. It is, but the, the, the key is always whether you can really use that to your advantage I and mean, we've just seen some uh, lightweight scholars you know take out the Olympic champions who were definitely uh, you know bigger and more powerful but haven't been training since Rio probably quite as much as they should have been um, so that's the wonderful thing in our sport is, is seeing if you know sometimes you can actually you know be more efficient and lighter and actually have a better weight to power ratio that will help you so you know weight on its own isn't going to help you unless you can really make sure it's boat moving weight who's got the best technique at the moment there's nothing to call between the two really brown have got the edge haven't they they have now made a move they've started to pull out uh got good sort of half length i'd say at this point they're going to want to try and break away and it's really important for newell and mosman to try and hang on now hang on to the overlap push back have they got more looking a little bit sort of heads down to me in that newell mosman crew you know can they lift it now brown crew looking sharper they've got that advantage they're moving away quite steadily so if they can't stop that if they can't check that move in Newell mosman then you know in effect they they get clear water and, it, and it's hard for them to come back yeah, it's cold derby the cox you can see there working the boat hard he's got uh, a lot of racing to do. he's got to try and get that snap back in his uh, crew there hasn't he it's just they've just yeah, got they exactly. were good in temple island they looked exactly. uh, full of snap yeah and the rates you know lower it's at 35 in newell and mosman it's still up powering sort of 38 39 the commentators are saying in, in uh, the brown crew and so you know they're just looking racier they're looking sharper maybe they've had a, a harder kind of training uh, winter training period behind them and this is when that tells it's you know it's just not a sharp at the moment and I, I don't know if they've got it within their kind of phys physical fitness to to find that next gear but they need to do something to stop brown from just moving away now and there are Brown, and as Kath says, doing exactly that, just moving away. Still a race, though, isn't it? Just a length in it. We've definitely seen crews come back from this point, but, you know, they'd have to lift a lot, I think. You know, you can see the rate difference isn't there, and, and they have moved steadily. They've moved steadily over the last period, you know, stroke by stroke, they're just moving away. They've got that clear water now. That's quite significant psychologically. It's going to be a lot harder for Newell and Mosman. They'll, you know, they can only see the sort of ends of their puddles now from the brown crew. So, you know, that's getting quite comfortable now. That It's increasing the clear water every stroke, and Newell and Mosman just aren't doing anything to, to stop that or, or, or think about lifting and, and actually kind of closing the gap again. Gap only going one way at the moment. Brown with the surge mid-race. Pretty relaxed, aren't they, at this stage? Yeah, they're in control, I think. I think they'll be happy with that. They're the racier crew, they're the sharper crew. They've brought it and they've continued it down the course, so they've held that pace for longer. And uh, I think they're going to keep moving away uh, if the current form's anything to go by. 
further into the section of the course where they'll be able to hear the big Friday afternoon crowds here at Henry Raw Regatta. And they are big as well. I tried to take a walk down the towpath towards Temple Island a few minutes ago and uh, it took a while to get anywhere. It was very congested on the towpath. Yeah, we've had some great races. We've seen people really drawn to the river because there's some great kind of real toe-to-toe -to -toe races this afternoon. So, uh, you know, the crowds have had a lot to cheer and a lot to get excited about. I think this one, you know, it's all going Brown's way. So uh, I think uh, they'll be quite comfortable, the Brown supporters out there. So basically Harvard University, or their uh, official uh, Harvard University outfit. A combination of their second and third varsity eights flagging at the moment against a very well organized Brown University 8 who know that they can uh, drop off their rate a little bit I think they have done that they'll uh, not be able to paddle up to the line but they'll be able to uh, try and reserve a little bit of energy for the weekend yeah they have now they are definitely doing that I mean it's the first time Brown have been for quite a few years to Henley so I think often you see crews you know in the squads waiting for a year where they feel they've got something extra to add something extra to bring that they can you know go further through the rounds at Henley and uh, so I think it's certainly looking like that now and they're sort of safely safely through to uh, to the weekend not all Americans either the uh, crew includes Rufus Briggs from Great Britain in the two seat and Kiwi Russell Dodd at bow as well over the line they come. Good performance from Brown University winning the ladies' challenge plate by a couple of lengths from Newell and Moseman, Harvard University. Good win for Brown University in the ladies' challenge plate.